So to the viewers, <coughs> you got two massive red pills. One, she said she was single. She's been having sex with her ex-boyfriend for three weeks. Two. They've flown out together. We didn't see each other for He's one. He's invested in her, paid for her lawyers, but she's single. Only the second because... red pill, the second red pill is that during the course of her marriage, she was fantasizing about her ex. That part's here. That's red pill number two. That part is here. But the first part is so bullshit because I am single uh -huh. because we haven't agreed that like, okay, we're going to for sure do this. We're just figuring it out. Johnny Spiral donated $69.69. .69. I love you, honey. And my ex. I let guys watch me take off my clothes while you're at work. I can't stop thinking about my ex. And his juicy red hot dog. Good little doggy. Sincerely, Johnny Spiral. I haven't danced in like 10 years, y'all. I don't Thank know. Thank you, Johnny. Oh, there's a third yeah, red pill. Yeah, but say your ex was around during that, right? Or like eight years or something like that. Yeah. Okay. There does exist actually a third red pill that Andrew pointed out. And this is the fact that... You dated him, they're the ex guy. You dated him. He sounds sounded great, but you said there was a move that you wanted to make, and that there, you were you were, were being issues. a shithead. There were a lot okay. of issues, like it. Mostly because with of you. you. Mostly me, yes. Yeah, like I did the bigger you. things. Okay. But. Yeah. So the bigger red pill here is that relationship ended. You now have two kids from another man, and you are now back with him now that we don't know yet uh, what Andrew said <laughs> we don't know yet he Andrew has put to, it much more eloquently he has to see like we have to see if he can if he's really willing to take on kids and if we're still compatible and if we even still wait, know wait, each wait, other wait 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 that's wait not oh the, that's red pill number that, four hang on that's not the key that's not the key the key isn't what he's willing to do. The key was when you said, I would marry him tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so the, the key in here is like, just so you know, right, if that is the case, no, there's not going to be the marriage. There's Why do not you say that? This. There's not gonna be any of that. Why do you say that? Because you're a play toy. He, he, you, you screwed him over and he's getting massive revenge and he's I having mean, he a, left he's his literally whole, having he, a ball doing he it. He left a relationship to get back with me. That he had been in in three years. He doesn't give a fuck about no relation. Oh, now he left his relationship too. I have. Boy, this is real. He what? Wait, wait, what? what? He left his relationship. What? <laughs> wait, he was dating a chick. Yeah, and so once I got divorced, oh. it was like, so what? Are we, and then, but we saw each other in person, and we it just was like day one, and so we both were like, we can't not do this. Dude. You know, wait, so, so, so no, I'm not here's, a play toy, wait, I assure you. Chat. Here's red pill number four. You said when it came to your kids, I think you said something along the lines of, and you can just restate it if I get it wrong. You're still trying to figure out if he's like kind of ready to take on the, mm -hmm. the father role. Well, not and not right off the bat, but like anytime you date someone, no, when but you have can kids, you just restate is, what you said? Something about like you have to see if like sure he, if, if he can handle you know, playing stepdad. How many kids do you have? Two? Two. And how old are they? Two and three. Don't you think having that conversation would be well, we've had appropriate the, we've had the conversation before but you fuck him again? No, we've had the conversation for years. The reality Wait, but of you have years? Kids, but hold on. You hold were on. with your husband. I tried to ago. file for divorce, couldn't because I was pregnant. Then oh he got me God. pregnant again. We'll just say that. Through no fault of your own. Genuinely no, and um, anyway, so okay. Okay. so right. I was kind of like stuck. But, but my husband knew. I told him like I don't want to be with you. The second that I can leave, I'm going to. I'm in love with him. So this is just what it is. This is the I, I was wildest never, fucking story. I was I've never heard. not. Weeks, dude. <laughs> this is the wildest shit I've heard. I was never heard not weeks. honest about it, and so we would just text ever so often. And okay, there's been times so, where he, like one time wait, he drunk texted one me thing, one thing, right? and he was thing, like, I've thought an unhealthy Sorry. amount about raising your kids and I don't know if I wait, can have kids okay. and all these things. So, so I get, that you, I get that you guys have had conversations in the past when you guys were used to be dating mm -hmm. and you talked about what does the future hold? Are we going to have kids? You have kids now. No, no, no. We've Hold had on. these conversations since I had kids. Sure. sure, that's fine. But you have kids now. What conversation is there to be had? You have kids. 
Right. It's either get get on board. Why would well, but why you, would you date you a guy can, who's not no, about no, the you kids? You can conceptually be okay with it, but and I'm not letting everybody around my kids. So That's you can't red just pill four, by no, the no, way. no, because you can't just let anybody around your kids. So anybody that you talk to might think they can do it, but until if they don't have children, they don't know the reality of being around fucking toddlers all the time. Sure, it can be overwhelming. So that's what the trial is about. Like, you think you can handle this? Can you? And also, Andrew, like, you had something. I just wanted to make sure that I reiterated this correctly. You can correct me if I am wrong. You, going right. you dated, you date, you have Tourette's now too. <laughs> Well, I've always had Tourette's, oh. yes. I have motor no, no, no. I, don't, I have persistent motor tic disorder. So, oh, like, okay. just not Dibs. vocal. All right, all right. Gotcha. So. I took some milk. <laughs> anyway. Just kidding. Fucking so, gosh. we start with when you were doing stripping and OnlyFans, you meet this guy. You dated him. You loved him. You adored him, right? But you were a shithead. And so, when he moved, um, you guys broke up. Right, and this was mostly your fault. That's, that's a very short version. Yeah, yeah, this. mostly your fault. Okay, so now you enter into your marriage. You get married to this guy. Uh, you think he's great at first. You marry. You're still secretly pining after your ex, though you have buried these feelings. And about the time that you get pregnant the first time, uh, that's when you really decide, oh shit, I don't want to be married to this guy anymore. And that's when the feelings of the ex really begin to reawaken. Well, that's when like all the abusive crazy shit started to happen. But that's when the feelings for the ex really started to unbury themselves. Maybe after that, um, it kind of like unfolded very slowly. Okay. Um, and then it moves. Okay, got it. And then it moves now past this to your divorce from the ex. You met up back up with him because you wanted to go get your boom boom stick, and um, well, he no, happened to on, have it on. for whatever reason. And there was a little bit more going on than just the boom boom stick. There was two boom boom sticks over there. Apparently, you wanted. So you go over there, right? You no. get both of them. Mandy Vower donated sixty nine dollars. This chick has officially made me want to shit in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so right. So then, okay, no. Okay, no. Hold on, I get divorced. I'm like, yo. And he's like, well, I have a girlfriend. And I'm like, okay, fine. Wait, so wait. So you to, hit him up because you wanted to be had, with him? I mean, yeah. Like, But he had a girlfriend? No, no. He had like hit me up over the years saying like, oof. And I feel so bad talking about this because I'm sure. She, yeah, it's the fucking horrible. Like, wait, you, your ex-husband, you were having an emotional affair with him because you were in love with this other guy? Well. And he was yeah. hitting you up and you were actually talking to him? And then we fast yeah, forward to when knew. you're divorced, you because, hit, because you hit my, this other guy so up. And he, hang on, hang on. I just want to make sure I got this right. You don't when you're already. divorced, you hit this other guy up and he's with a chick. For, and he's been with her for three years and he left her for you? So here's the thing. Um, I was already like done with my husband. I just, we were legally married. Like I couldn't leave is the issue. Why couldn't you leave? I don't have any family in the state. I had two back-to-back -back births and like definitely couldn't financially leave couldn't afford a divorce attorney he's also telling me if i left there would it, it was scary okay the, okay. okay so i was kind of just like stuck for a while and um simultaneously he had been with the girl for a few years it wasn't going anywhere he wants a traditional woman like someone to start a life with and have children and she didn't want to do that she wanted to do the boss babe i'm getting my phd no i'm not gonna he bought a house and he gave her the opportunity to move in with her him and live there so like it wasn't that serious um but they kind of just had like totally independent lives after three years but essentially what happened is we found the opposite of each other thinking that would be better and then it very mutually well, like that's that sounds very romanticized and <laughs> I'm like not it, saying it's and healthier. it also it also sounds really like um you're trying to fit the pieces together in order to form a, a narrative that you like right well maybe but i've talked to other people and dated other people and married other people and for i can at least speak for myself that that's mm -hmm. it's not comparable okay so no but so listen so he had texted me actually a few times and i'm like um you know 
well, if you, are we going to fucking do it or not? Because I'm, I'm not going to do this while you have a girlfriend. So, like, you have to get rid of the girlfriend. So then he's like, mm, I don't know. It was pretty toxic with us. Maybe not. So then I go through a whole grieving process. So he was still with the girlfriend and you're the other woman? No, no, no. We didn't do anything. No, no, no. No, wait, wait, wait. Back up. If you're telling him, if you want me, you have to ditch her. You're the okay. other woman. Okay, so yes, but nothing's happening at yeah, this Yeah, I point. get it. You're not screwing okay. him, but you're still the other woman. Right. Okay, so sure. She was, she was borrowing him for me, really. But yes, whatever. Anyway, I go through a whole grieving process. I'm like, fuck this. I'm, so by the time my house got broken into, I even brought a friend with me, had the friend knock on the door. I didn't want to see him. I didn't know how it was going to go. But I needed my fucking gun because you apply for a gun mid divorce in Texas. Apparently, they're not going to approve it until after your court date because they're like, you might go kill your ex husband. What do you mean apply for a gun in Texas? You don't have to apply you for guns. You have to do a background check and they can put holds on it. Yes. Yeah, for three days. Nope. Yeah. I did it, Andrew. So you got denied? No, I didn't get denied. They just never fucking did anything. What are you What are you talking about? They ran the... Okay, you went down and you filled out your 4473. Yes, and the people at yeah. Cabela's told me, if you have a pending court date, it can take over a month. So I'm like, okay. So then she loans me a gun, and it... I When the person breaks in my house, I noticed the triggers pulled all the way back, so I couldn't even do anything like if I wanted to. And she didn't know that, by the way. Um, so I'm like, fuck. And then I was okay. just like so like shaken by the whole experience. I'm like, I have to go get my gun. So I did, and I had my friend knock and everything. 